When you have six inches or left on your string, it is time to plan for a new string. So what I'm going to do is I just adhered it to my previous row. So I'm gonna do about four loops around. Two, three, four. And I'm going to remove the needle. If your needle is attached with a knot, you can cut it off as long as you have several inches left still on your string. If you only have a couple inches on your string, I would not recommend cutting the needle off because you will need some amount of string before you start your next piece. If you have yarn that has a pattern, so if you look at this yarn, it starts with one color and then slowly transitions to another color, then you have to be cognizant or aware of which side of the string that you cut you start weaving with and which side you put the needle on. So I cut a new piece to my string. The side that I cut, I want to put the needle on because we want that side to be the furthest from here. I'm gonna go ahead and thread the needle. Again, as we discussed before, if you would like to put a knot, you can, but you don't have to. So again, that's the side that I cut, is the side that I put the needle on. And I'm gonna find the other side, make sure there's no knots. So here's the other side that I did not put the needle on. So I'm gonna have this string and I'm gonna just lay it flat on top of the rope coil. And then I'm gonna take the string that I just cut and I'm gonna lay that down on top. Okay, then I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna hold on to those two pieces and my coil. And then I'm just going to start wrapping it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When I have my eight left, it is still very, very important to secure that onto my coil. Some people will keep wrapping until they get to the end of this string. And if you do that, you'll end up with a coil that's not attached that will wiggle around like that. Okay, so now that I have a couple pieces from the old one and then I have eight from my new coil, if you're doing 10, 10 would be fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and stitch just like I was doing before. So I'm gonna pull this really close, come up from below. Whoa, I must have a knot in there. Excuse me. Okay, so I'll have to fix that up a little bit. Um, most likely when I just pull it all the way through, it'll fix itself. jumped out of my hand. Okay. There we go. So I still have those two strings. So I tightened it. It kind of tightened over here, but that's okay. So now I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to hold these strings down. I'm going to do eight. So I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to hold that really close, pop my needle up from below, hopefully it goes smoother this time. Okay, and then I keep going. 